hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to take a synth studios character such as this this cowboy put it in blender make some changes and then import it in unreal engine 4 all right let's get started so i have this empty third person project and i have added um, this synth studios western pack to it i'm going to use this cowboy character as an example so i have added that you can try any other Cinti's um, Cinti Studios character that will work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make changes to uh, this cowboy. So so I'm gonna take this right. So I'm gonna pick this character. I'm gonna go ahead and export it. I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna keep everything as it is. I'm not going to change anything. So after I have explored, I'm going to go to my Blender 2.79. Uh, you could do it in uh, 2.8 if you're familiar with the latest version. But I really know how to use this, so I'm going to stick to this. So I'm going to go ahead and import FBX. I'm going to navigate to my um, to my folder and then import. I'm not going to change any of the settings. I'm just going to directly import it. So this is the import um, now I'm going to change this is very important the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this click on this so it has root underneath right so I'm going to click on the SK character cowboy right click then delete it will delete that and make the root as the root of this and it will increase the size so we're going to also decrease the size as well so you're going to go to this scene tab and then you see the init scale you're going to change it to 0 0.01 so there you go now you're back to normal right okay now you want to save this so that if it, anything happens you can you know retrieve it so as you see we have like only one skeleton character cowboy right this one so we're gonna play with this okay so we're gonna isolate this let's hide the root bone okay and then I'm gonna we're in object mode so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit I'm gonna select by right clicking the character then go to edit mode right then I'm gonna press L A a to select all or a to deselect all right now i'm going to choose face right now if i press b i get the selection right now i'm going to highlight all the parts of the head right and just keep pressing b and keep selecting the head part of it there you go okay i think we have selected all the parts of the head make sure you cover every part okay i think we're done and uh, what else okay so what i'm going to do now the head is selected i'm going to press p in my keyboard and then selection so what it did is isolated the hat from the body right there you go select the hat then go to material and click on this two right and then double click on this and say body no this is i think this is hat yeah this is hat and the second one you don't have to do anything you can just double click and say body or whatever you want to name it so we have that um so they're gonna have they're gonna use different materials that's pretty cool now i'm going to hide and deselect the hat so only the character is selected so i'm going to export this and input it in ev4 okay so i'm going to select show and enable the bone make sure you have the eye and the uh, the pointer right so and same thing for the character as well I'm going to press A, A to select the 
bone and the mesh right everything is selected and i'm going to go to export fbx then i'm going to go to and this is where i want to save it so i'm going to go selected con select object the scale has to be one and this has to be apply scale has to be fbx unit scale okay and make sure the scale is one so now we can save it i'm gonna name it cowboy um zero two and also in the geometry you can uncheck this in the armature you can i uncheck that in animation you can uncheck baked animation because we don't have any animation now i'm going to go ahead and save it export it so that is exported now i'm going to do the same thing to the head okay i'm going to un hide the man hide the body and select the body show the head and select the head now i'm going to do the same thing select all export fbx now the selection is going to stay the same right but all i have to do is rename it to hat 01 so this is my this is the only hat is over there so i'm going to name it 01 and then export so i have the body and a uh, hat exported right so i have this empty third person project open with synthi studios polygon western you can use any other pack with their characters it will work anakin character mesh skeleton so this is the one we're using it so go to skeleton key show make sure pelvis is animation scale save to target manager to simulate rig auto map so this is going to be a lot easier because this is the default mannequin so you don't have to do anything but besides just just cancel the root every time you want to use root animations you can just change this to root for this one don't use use none save i'll prove the url to this this is a fbx a t post fbx what it does is that if you uh use this a post culture into t post so what i'm going to do is just drag and drop here and choose the uh the default ue4 mannequin skeleton right and then do import right click create and then go to create post asset choose the uh, t post ue4 mannequin accept all right now what are you going to do if you go back to the ue4 skeleton if you go to uh, modify post you, under this drop down you should be able to see the the post that you created uh, based on this skeleton if you select that import now see it goes into t post a post t -post. all right the same character is in t post and the default ue4 skeleton is in a post so now you have both now you'll be able to retarget both of this skeleton type all right now uh, i'll save it so what i'm going to do i'm going to import the the modified uh match and skeleton so if i drop and drag and drop it is and this so i'm going to clear this i'm not going to use the compatible skeleton neither of them because i want uh, i want to import the modified skeleton even though they are comparable all right so now we have that let's bring in hat hat for hat we're going to choose uh the cowboy 2 to import it and the hat and this mesh should is using they are using this skeleton um let's see how this skeleton looks okay we're going to do the same thing to this as well so we're going to target everything the skeleton beside the first two save retarget manager select humanoid auto um key is going to be e. um yes Please no. So yeah. So after you put the modified skeleton, you have to go through this again. Uh, let's see index. Uh, index one two.
All right, now let's save it. Make sure the root is none. Now what you're going to do is, all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to retarget the UV4 skeleton to Cowboy 2. So before that, uh, make sure the um, Cowboy 2 mesh is selected. Save. Now when I'm right click on the UV4, UV4 mannequin, go to retarget to another skeleton. Uh, choose the Cowboy 2 skeleton, it's going to appear. Then go ahead and retarget. So that is done. So we can go to the third person blueprint, go to third person character. Should be able to select the uh, way two. It will use the animation. And uh, if I play character working. This is the modified version as you see his, his bold he has no hair just uh no hair or hat moved it um and yeah everything works the arms the legs and everything works i go to third person character skeleton skeleton mesh under the mesh i think name it hat Let's change the button mesh at Yeah, I think this is good enough, right? 